guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Rose and today we are going to be playing some more Star Stable. Whee! I am here with Fortune Blaze and we are going to get right to questing. So, in the last episode, we single-handedly saved Maulan Stables from being demolished. So, you know, we're, we're, we're working off the back of a, a pretty good high at the minute. So, I think there's a couple of quests, or at least one quest over here that we should be able to do. What happened to Loretta? Rose, have you seen Loretta? No? She rode off on the wild bobcat track but hasn't come back. I'm worried that something has happened to her but I can't leave the paddock. The rest of the riding club is out looking for her and I have to be here in case anyone finds anything. I really need help to find her. Can you ride to the path along the cliffs over there by the mountain and look for her? Okay, let's see if we can find Loretta. So. See our little green dot on the map down here? So let's go and see if we can find her. Okay, so there's... I think we need to go... Ah. Hello. Stop! This road has been declared unsafe. You can't walk, ride, or drive any further. Large rocks have blocked the road completely. Have I seen a girl on a horse? No, but I hope for her sake that she's not lying under the pile of boulders over there. She'd be as flat as a pancake. Wow, way to be considerate. No, I can't let you pass. Even if your friend is in danger, the road must be cleared before I let you pass. There are orders I have, so I won't leave this place until Mr. Kemble tells me to. You have no idea what he'd do to me if he found out that I had disobeyed his orders. Hmph. <laughs> If it's that important, why don't you go ask Mr. Kemble to send the bulldozer? You'll find Mr. Kemble on the construction site, close to that beautiful, large advertising board that you probably love looking at. Ride to him and ask if he can hurry up and send a bulldozer. Yeah, we all love looking at that sign, don't we? Yeah, totally. Bye, dude. Okay. So, now we have to go back to the construction site and speak to the evil Mr. Kemble. So let's ride away. Again, like I said in the last episode, guys, if you're not 100% sure where you're going, there's always the little green dot on the map here, or you can open up your larger map as well and have a look there. So we're going over here. Oh, I just rode into a wall. It's fine. It's cool. Okay, so I think we need to ride... Mm, I'm not sure where we need to go, actually. I think there's a road up here we can take. I haven't done these quests in like two years, so <laughs> I haven't been to this construction site in a long time in game. Okay, here we are. Mr. Kemble. Oh, there he is. I see him. Isn't he just glorious? Aha! What is this I see? A stable girl from Moorland who dares to come all the way up here. What do you want? To sabotage my powerful machines in a pathetic attempt to save that little pile of planks that you call a stable? Don't you worry, little girl. We will tear the stable down and build new luxury condos that will sell for millions and millions. Rather excellent, isn't it? I'll get rich and the Moorlands won't get a shilling. That's how we work here at GED. Oh, you're not here to cause trouble. Really? You want me to lend you a bulldozer? You're funny, little girl. <laughs> so you want me to send a bulldozer to clear the boulders off the road to rescue a friend? I really should ask you for an outrageous amount of money, but actually I need to clear the road anyway. I'm waiting for the wrecking crew to come, and this rock slide will force them to take a detour. This is what we'll do. If you help me mark four trees for felling, I will send a bulldozer, okay? Take this red tape and mark those four trees over there, and then I'll help you. Agreed? I suppose. Okay, so trees over here, and we have the tape in our inventory. I suppose this isn't hurting anyone, marking these trees. We've got to save Loretta, so it's, we can't really think about uh, help that we're helping the evil GED, really, can we? Okay, we've only got one more. OK, 
Okay, well, let's go back to evil Mr. Campbell and uh, see what he says. Good girl, maybe you should think about working for us here at GED. We're always looking for people willing to destroy the environment. Oh, my promise? I don't remember any promise. Just shows you can't trust anyone. Anyway, I had already given the order to send the bulldozer so you could say you did all... La la, I can't even talk. So you could say you did all this for nothing. See, that's how it goes. Wow, you are evil, Mr. Kemble. Off with you, girly. You and I are done here for now. The bulldozer is on its way. You had better stay away while it's working so you can go and update your friends or something. Now, I must keep planning the demolition of your stable. Wow, he really is evil. I don't like Mr. Campbell at all. Shame we can't go and take all the tape off the trees that we just did. Oh well, it's cool. So let's ride down and speak to Tan and say that we have progress happening. Have you got any news about Loretta Rose? A bulldozer is on its way to clear the rock slide. Good. But remember that Mr. Kem <laughs> remember that Mr. Kemble is a real slime bag and that GED are about as trustworthy as a mouse in a cheese factory. The bulldozer should have cleared the road by now. Ride back over to the cliff wall and keep looking for Loretta. Oh, and I hope she's alright. Hurry, Rose, hurry. Okay, Tan, wow. Go in. Okay. So hopefully Mr. Kemble's bulldozer has already been and sorted out the road for us so we can go and find Loretta. And here she is. Hi Rose, are you a bit lost? Oh, Tan sent you. That's nice of you both. Thanks. Hmm, we need to go back to the stables. Let's race and see who gets back to Morland Stables first. From here and back to Tan at the paddock. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna do a race. Wow, Loretta's off to a good start. Fortune Blaze isn't at its best at the minute, so I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Loretta beats us, to be honest. He's so slow. Come on, Fortune Blaze. Wow. This is going terribly. She beat us by a mile. Wow. Well done, Loretta. Well done. Uh, I'm not sure if you can even beat Loretta on that quest, to be honest, but hey ho. That was fast. So speedy. Woohoo! That was so much fun. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Everyone's been worried sick about you and you're just having a, having a great time. You're really getting better and better, Rose. I think you're ready for a real challenge. As you helped us find Loretta, we'll let you we'll let we'll let set you up. That isn't me, that's we'll let set you up. Okay. <laughs> we'll set you up on the Bobcat's wild track. It's tough and dangerous, so take it easy. Remember, you're not a Bobcat girl yet, so don't feel bad if you don't beat our high scores. There's no shame in losing to the Bobcat girls, you know. Good luck with the race! Okay, so we've unlocked a new race. So let's give it a go. Go, 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 go! Fortune Blaze is so slow today! Wow! I really need to level him up in between episodes. I know I said that last episode, but I hadn't had a chance to come on and uh, <laughs> level him up. Come on, Fortune Blaze! You can do it! You can do it! Come on, Fortune, please! So when you're racing, you need to, every so often, keep pressing up, otherwise your horse won't keep speed. You see at the bottom here, it like flashes red, that's when your horse is getting slow. Oh, I can't jump yet, I forgot! I forgot I can't jump! No! <laughs> I messed up! <laughs> I've played this race so many times that I'm just so used to jumping. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah. So if I don't do anything, my horse will slow down. I'll show you. So you see he slowed down a gate there? So you need to kind of keep an eye on it and just every now and again just press up once and the horse will keep its speed. Nice and easy. 
I can't believe I did that. I forgot about jumping. <laughs> oh, you can tell how used to this game I am that I just completely ran into a wall thinking that I could jump it. I forgot that we haven't done the jump quest yet. <laughs> yeah, so being fast in the races, jumping is a key part of that. So if you don't have Star Raider and you can't jump, it's difficult to get high scores because to take some shortcuts in the races you have to be able to jump. Like here I would normally take a shortcut and jump over this fence, but I can't because I haven't got jump so we're gonna have to go around the long way. Okay, we're almost done. Yay! And we didn't, so the high score for this today is 108 and we're 40 seconds behind, well. Okay. <laughs> Let's just talk to Tan real quick. That was pretty good. If you're up for it, you can try again. Just speak to me again and I'll let you have another go. Every time you compete in a race and perform well, you earn reputation. If you do well on this track, all us Bobcat girls will see that you're good. I'm not promising anything, but if you earn enough reputation with us, maybe, just maybe, you could become a member of our club. Oh, great, thanks. So speaking of clubs, you see here that this girl has um, a name underneath her name, but this girl doesn't. So this means that she is in a riding club. So you can join riding clubs and you will have your own, if I go to the chat window here, you see it says club. You have your own club chat so you can talk to all your club friends. Uh, I think you can, um, what else can you do together as a riding club? You have your own chat. Where's it? Can I speak to someone about clubs? Maybe it'll, it'll tell me about them. Hang on. So the club has its own chat channel and a notice board where the owner can inform members about the rules and special club events. A club can have up to 50 members. So you have to be a star rider and have reached at least level five to be able to create your own riding club. It costs 50 star coins. So yeah, you can do events so you can gather everyone together and do races together. Um, I am part of a club on my personal account um, of other people around my age that play Star Stable, but I'm thinking potentially when I purchase a membership for this account of making a riding club that you guys could join. So let me know what you guys think about that and then you could have your own chat uh, and play together. Obviously only 50 people will be able to be in the club. Um, but it could be fun. So let me know what you guys think of me potentially making a riding club. I think we've got time for some more quests. If we look at our map, there seems to be a ton of quests. We've got Fort Pinter, uh, we've got Moorland, we've got Nilmus Highland. Uh, let's go to the Moorland Forge because it's close. Oh, there's a quest here as well. I'm being completely blind. There's one right in front of me. Let's do this one first. Time to go shopping. How are things going, Rose? Have you visited the cool shops yet? What? You haven't? You have to go check out all the awesome stuff they sell. Go visit the gear shop, the clothing shop and the style shop which has the best clothes and gear you can find here in Moreland. But you must have a really good reputation with Moreland Stables to be able to shop in the star shop. Okay. She's also got another quest so let's have a look at that one. Rose, we seem to be having a problem with Rosie the cow standing over there by the wall. She's been acting strangely lately, hanging her head like she's all sad or something. The vet was here, but couldn't find anything physically wrong with her. I'm sure that something's not right, though, and I can't bear to see her like this anymore. It occurred to me that Mrs Holdsworth is great with cattle. She used to have a farm herself when she was younger, and she often tells stories about different cows that she remembers, like they were all friends of hers with unique personalities. Maybe she knows what we could do to cheer Rosie up. Will you please go talk to her? Okay. So we've got two quests to do. I'm going to do the shop one first because I kind of want to buy myself some new gear. Also I noticed that last episode I got given some trousers and I didn't even look at them so let's have a look. Budget pants. Okay they're not they're not that great looking we'll, we'll just ignore them. Okay so let's see if we can go and look in the shop. Okay so all the green things are the things that I can buy. All the red things are things that I can't buy until I've got a different player level or I've got a better reputation. So I could buy, like, what's this? A basic saddle, stable pants, worker's top, 
So yeah, you just hover over the thing to kind of have a look at it. And if there's anything you want to buy, you just drag it over to here. But I don't think there's anything I want to buy from this shop. Oh, can I... Oh. Okay, I don't have enough. I'm not going to buy them unless I have shillings, to be honest. Okay, let's hop over to this shop. Okay, so this is the gear store. So we've got bridle, saddle pad. So when you go to the shop, this is something that I've not done very well. You kind of need to be side on so you can see... Well, that didn't help, did it? You need to like position yourself so that you can see what the gear looks like on the horse. But for some reason, it's just, it's not working out. Yeah, it's not working out for me today. I don't know why. So you need to have your horse kind of side on so you can see what the gear looks like. Otherwise, you're just buying a saddle in the hopes that it looks kind of good. So I think we've only got one more shop to visit, which is this one over here. There we go. This is a clothes shop. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm not going to spend my star coins on clothing. I'm going to wait until I've got some shillings to do that. So, we've completed that quest. But before we go back and talk to Maya, I want to go and see Mrs. Holdsworth. Her cottage is so pretty. If I could live anywhere in uh, Jorvik, it would be here, I think. The cow is sad, you say? And you want me to cheer her up? I had the same problem with one of my own cows a long time ago. Her name was Wendy and she would get the most lifeless eyes sometimes. She would stand in a corner staring straight ahead of her as if all hope was gone. But I fixed her. Can you guess what I did? I remember that she had escaped from the enclosure once into my garden where I found her eating dandelions. So I went and got a bunch of them and made them into a brew that I fed to Wendy. It worked wonders. Why don't we see if that works on your cow as well? Get me five dandelions and I'll make the brew for you. I don't even know if Mrs. Holdsworth's voice has changed since the last episode, but... <laughs> okay. Dandelions. Where are you? I thought they were right here, but I can't, I can't seem to find them. Oh, they're all the way down here. Okay. For some reason, she doesn't want us to pick the ones that are right in her garden. We've got to go all the way down here and pick these. These look fine. I'll have the brew ready for you in a little while. Here is your brew, dear. Give it to her right away and remember to talk to her while you're doing it. Everyone appreciates a little attention once in a while. Good luck, dear. Well, that didn't take her long to make the brew. She said it would take some time, but then it was like instant. <laughs> okay, so let's ride back and give the brew to the cow, Rosie, and see if this cheers her up. And there's Rosie. I wish it would stop showing me this message. Okay, let's give her the brew and see what she thinks. Did that, did it make a difference? She looks completely the same to me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> she looks exactly the same. Okay, Maya. That was cool, right? Well, keep working on your mall and reputation and soon you'll be able to buy some awesome gear and clothing. Don't forget, there are lots of other shops in Silverglade, Fort Pinter, and Jorvik City, but it might take a while before you get to any of those places. Okay, so that's the shopping quest done. So this is just talking about our reputation. So to view your reputation, you hit C, and it takes you into your character sheet, where you can see what your horse is wearing, and also what you're wearing. But you can go into your reputation and scroll through. So at the minute, we're friendly with Moreland Stables, and we've got... All these reputations here, <laughs> you'll end up with a ton of them, trust me. So this is about Rosie. She actually does look happier. How did you do it? A dandelion brew? Would you believe that? Well, yeah, because it worked. So, yeah. So there we go. Did we get any quest items from her? No. Oh, looks like we're going to stick with our plain red t-shirt and our uh, brown riding pants for now, guys. I think we've just about got time to do one more quest. So, let's head over to the Moorland Forge and speak to the man there. Conrad Marsden, here we go. Well, good day. Greetings to you and your fine horse. You look young and strong. Maybe you could help me with a small task. Just the other day, my old assistant, Patrick, was bringing me a shipment of the finest tools from Jorvik stables. He was just arriving when one of those bobcat girls came racing down the Damascus mine road and almost rode him down. 
He got so scared that he ran all the way here, but he dropped all the tools along the way. He's a bit of a chicken, and he refuses to go back out there, so my new tools are just lying out there somewhere, rusting away. I don't have the time to go look for them myself, but maybe you could help me out? It would be... I would be extremely grateful, young lady. The shipment contained a hammer, pliers, and a shiny pickaxe of finest Jorvik steel. I tried to go low, low for old Conrad. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out. Okay, let's go and find his tools. So, if we look on the minimap, we need to ride kind of this way. And we'll see if we can find his tools. So the Damascus mine is up here. So if we disconnect to the road here, we should be able to find his tools along here somewhere. I can't see anything yet. Oh, I see one. What have we got? The mining pick. And then there's something over here. Pliers, and there's one more over here this way somehow. I don't know how it ended up all the way over here. Ha! Huh, you're an angel, Rose. This is indeed a great day. I'm so happy that you were able to find all my tools. Forging metal on my anvil into the finest horseshoes is what I do. As a druid and member of the Keepers of Aedine, I strive to protect this island from exploitation. I'm now going to ask you for some precious Jorvik steel. I therefore want to emphasize that I will use it with great care and responsibility. I thank this island every day for the valuable gifts it brings us islanders. Horseshoes made out of Jorvik steel could make your horse fly. In ancient times, people used to mine steel from the Damascus mine over in the west. Take this pickaxe and bring me five lumps of steel. You will be greatly rewarded. Okay, so we're going to go mining. I know this isn't Minecraft, but we're going to go mining, guys. So, the mine is over here. So let's just ride over this way. Oh, mysterious music. Okay. So we've got to get five iron ore. This music is so creepy. Okay, we've got to find one more. Here it is. There we go, so we've got all of the uh, all we need. Come on, Fortune Blaze, let's get out of here. This place is so creepy. Ah, the purity of this metal is a dream come true. Let me start walking on the sh working on the shoes for your fine steed. They will carry you safely and swiftly. This may take some time, so don't forget to come back here later and see if I'm done. Oh, apparently he's done already. These horseshoes will be better than I could have ever imagined. If I only had some shiny ghost ore, I could make them even better, like in the old days when ancient items were full of magical and secret powers. Take this pickaxe and ride to Jarl's tomb, close to Doyle's Abbey. Use the pickaxe to mine shiny ghost ore from the ancient rocks. I only need two lumps of this rare metal. Okay, so we're going to go get some shiny ghost ore. This sounds like a fantastic idea. Let's go to someone's tomb and raid some ghost ore. Sounds great. <laughs> so, Doyle's Abbey is um, on the way to Fort Pinter, so we just need to ride past Jasper and up that way. So, the Jarl's tomb is down this way. It's very creepy. It's even creepier than the mine. Okay, let's leave Fortune Blaze out here. And go get this ghost ore. I feel like something terrible is going to happen. No, nothing. Okay, we survived. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go before the Jarl wakes up. Hmm. These are 
perfect samples of shiny ghost ore. Well done, Rose. Now I will just add the last small ornaments. While I am finishing these shoes, find me some horseshoe nails for Fortune Blaze. A long time ago, long before both you and I were born, an ancient tribe lived here in Jorvik. They lived happily and in harmony with the spirits of nature, and their horses were full of powers we can't ever imagine today. They had a big camp just south of here on the seashore. You can still find relics from that time there. Dig in the sand, and if you're lucky, you'll find some very old and special horseshoe nails. I only need eight ancient horseshoe nails. That's a, that's a tongue twister, if ever I've heard one. Eight ancient horseshoe nails. <laughs> eight ancient horseshoe nails. <laughs> okay, so let's ride over to the beach. And, oh, oh, no, we can't go up there. I, I tried to cheat, but it didn't work. Let's go around. Oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. Whew! That happens sometimes in the game, guys. It's very easy to sometimes get stuck. Okay. So I think I can cut through here. Perfect. So we need to go to the beach down by Mrs. Holdworth's cottage. Ancient horseshoe nails. <laughs> How many times can I say it? How many times can I say it fast? Eight ancient horseshoe nails. Eight ancient horseshoe nails. Eight ancient horseshoe nails. Oh wow, that's. Why can I not pick this one up? I'm getting some more sort of weird glitch. Okay, let's get off of uh, Fortune Blaze and see if we can then pick it up. No. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Eight ancient horseshoe nails. <laughs> oh, that's so funny to say fast. Hashtag eight ancient horseshoe nails. Eight ancient horseshoe nails. Eight ancient horseshoe nails. I got it. Oh, it's so difficult to say fast. Fine nails indeed. Now I will carry on working on the horseshoes. Come back later. I may need your help again. Okay, so for now, we can't do any more with that, but we are going to have some nice new horseshoes probably the next time we come back to Conrad. And we also got given a jacket. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I th kind of think I like that. I might put that on. So to put something on, you just double click it. Oh, that looks quite nice. I quite like it. Okay, I think that is where we are going to leave this episode today, guys. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like or maybe even subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about Star Stable and what you think about me potentially starting my own riding club on this server. Um, I need to double check what server I'm on to let you guys know, but I will do that for the next episode. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!